introduce yourself. <coughs> Thank you, uh, Madam Chair. I'm Jerry Cox. I'm the Executive Director of Family Council. And uh, we're out here to speak on behalf of, of this bill. And I think uh, I'd like to kind of bring our discussion back a little bit more center where, where we need to be having the discussion. Representative House talked about the oils. And there are many other ways that a patient can combine usable marijuana with food and use it without having to extract oil out of the cannabis plant. And so the good folks of New York State have figured out that this can, this can be done. The good folks of Pennsylvania have figured out that this can be done. The good folks of Minnesota have figured out that this can be done because they've passed laws just like this. And so what you have is you have true medicine, so to speak, with medical marijuana in those states so that you have a pill, a marijuana pill. You have a marijuana capsule. You have a marijuana nasal spray like Sandipax. You have a marijuana tincture, like a little drop of liquid that you can drop on your, under your tongue. You have marijuana creams and oils that are all made by responsible companies that process and manufacture this as, as you would think medicine would be. And so what this bill does, it says, none of this making soda pop, making candy, making lemon drops, and somehow calling that medicine. It's not, it's saying we're not going to do that. But if a person needs to combine their marijuana pill or their oil or their ointment or their spray or whatever it is with a food product like applesauce or candy or whatever to be able to ingest it, it's the same thing we do with any other kind of medicine. Maybe sometimes people have trouble swallowing pills and so they mix it up in applesauce and they take it that way. That's what this bill allows to occur, but it closes the door to all this candy and soda pop and all this other stuff. And I think that's serious enough that this body really should look seriously at that. I know you will, I know you're concerned, but um, you know, these other states have figured out how to do this and apparently it's working there and apparently the black market hasn't gone crazy and apparently people haven't died because they can't buy these edibles. And so I would urge you to look, look a second time at this and realize that you don't have to run a marijuana oil extraction facility in your home to be able to combine the product with your food. Okay. Thank, thank you, you. Madam Chair. Questions? <coughs> All right, seeing none, thank you so much. All right, ladies and gentlemen, you have heard a discussion of the bill. You have uh, asked questions.